Welcome to Computer Science Connections, simulating a marine ecosystem. This module makes connections between science and computer science. Specifically, it can introduce, reinforce, or extend any student learning related to marine life. If you're teaching about ecosystems, sustainability, or the food chain, or just want to get your students coding, you've come to the right place. In this module, students will simulate a marine life ecosystem and code several sustainable fishing practices. The main computer science concepts in this module are events and conditionals. In coding, there are cause and effects relationships we trigger with events. An event is an action that tells a specific chunk of code to run. For example, you can use events to make the boat catch the fish sprites or to make the boat disappear from the screen after a certain number of seconds. Events make your code more dynamic. Each time you run the simulation, you will have a slightly different outcome. Conditionals cause something to happen if a condition is true. For example, if there is too much algae, the coral becomes sick. Or if there is too little algae, the fish have no food source and leave the area. There are three lessons in this module. In lesson one, Students will program a model of an aquatic ecosystem and then simulate an overfishing situation. Students will learn how to program conditional statements to check the amount of algae in the water. In lesson two, students will read about and then program three different solutions to the problem of overfishing. First, students will modify the behavior of the boat so it can only move within a specified fishing zone. Second, students will program a new event to specify a fishing season and a no fishing season. Third, students will learn how to use a variable to keep track of the number of fish the boat has removed in order to enforce a fishing limit. In the final lesson, students will explore several different ecosystem simulations. Students can choose to explore a rainforest, desert, Arctic, or wetlands ecosystem. They will take on the role of an ecologist and investigate the interactions between the plants and animals in order to rebalance each ecosystem. Often, Students try to snap a green event block under the when run block, but this will not work. The event block stands on its own and any code added to it will run when the event is triggered. To test, students will need to press run, trigger the event they coded, and make sure it's working correctly. When adding conditional blocks to their code, students need to make sure to put a block of code inside the conditional statement. Remember, a conditional represents an if-then statement. If the condition is true, then the program will run the code inside the conditional block. Because the simulation changes each time, sometimes the students will need to run their code multiple times in order for the condition to become true. In every lesson plan, Discussion questions are coupled with discussion goals. Check for understanding and promote student reflection by incorporating these discussion questions into your teaching. This module is aligned with NGSS and the Computer Science Teachers Association standards in order to align to the concepts you already teach. To help you think of ways to integrate, ask yourself, how might this module support the content I am already teaching? And should I use this module to introduce, reinforce, or extend student learning on this topic? Don't forget about the hide and show feature for each lesson. It's best practice to only show the lessons students are currently working on. If you do not hide the following lessons, students will be moved to the next lesson automatically. Before teaching the module, Complete each coding level on your own. You can write your own code as an example for students. Make sure to review the lesson plans and additional resources. Code.org provides resources like slides, 
student handouts, and helpful hints to help you and your students get started.